like i don't know what it is but it's just like girl if you get some food in you you all right like literally she's just hangry And if you're true to this, not new to this, welcome to the party. But it's first time here. Welcome you one time, welcome you two times, welcome you three times to the Zero community. We're so happy that you joined us on this marvelous day. So as you can tell by the title, baby, I'm back with episode two of my Leveling Up Diary series. I know, I know, I know. It's been a minute since I made an episode, but you know, life got in the way. And before I knew it, baby, it's been what, three months since I made an episode? I was like, that's too long. Too long. But what made me want to record this episode, particularly focusing on my morning routine, is because one of my friends from Thailand, she asked me what does my morning routine look like? Because she's entering a phase of life where she has a lot going on, she feels as though there's not enough time in the day, and just a lot of chaos. And she's trying to zone in on how to accomplish her goals, but particularly setting the tone for the morning. And I was like, it's actually so funny that you mentioned that because I've been working on my morning routines as well. So I'm going to share with you guys what my morning routine is. is my thought process on how I create this routine. Obviously, this is not set in stone. I change it based on what season I am in and what goals I want to accomplish. And yeah, so let's hop right on to this video. First things first, baby. When it came to my morning routine, I was trying to find inspiration through the glitz and glamours of social media and other YouTubers when they do like their vlogs, they make it look so cinematic, they make it look really cutesy, very demure. And I'm just like, I feel like my life can never be like that because I don't have the type of face wash that they have, because they don't have the type of bed that they have, because my room is not set up the way that I want it to be set up. Like all these things, I'm just like, girl, I kind of missing the whole point about them even filming their morning routine is more so about the space and mindset that it creates for them. And I was like, wow. Once I had that, you know, epitome or whatever, I was like, hmm, what does my morning routine look like during this season? So to give you some insight on where I am in life, I'm gonna help you visualize what is important to me and what I want to prioritize in the morning to really set the tone for the rest of the day. First things first, exercise. As I am about to enter age 27, oh, 27, I'm just like, girl, you know, sometimes if I don't exercise, if I don't stretch, my body be creaking, okay? We're too young to be over here with creaking bones and backs, and it's, it's just too much. So one of my goals is to prioritize health and fitness and working out a certain amount of time throughout the day to really just fuel my body so that it can be the best shape that it can be once I get older. Um, another thing that I would want to focus on in the mornings is eating. If I'm working out, I need to be fueling my body with stuff so that my muscles and fibers can rebuild themselves and so that I'm not just burning off all this caloric energy, but I'm not refueling my body, right, to be able to continue to do these workouts throughout the week, right? So fueling my body and just eating breakfast particularly has been a has been a challenge for me. And another thing that I want to prioritize in the morning that I feel as though will have a great benefit towards me and my mental health is doing my devotions, my journaling, my reading my Bible, um, watching sermons, podcasts that will fuel me up through my faith. That's something else that I want to prioritize in my morning routine. I just feel like those three things will fill my mind, body, and soul to help me to be productive and you know just really be able to like, you know, get through the day, right? So when I think of my future self and why I am creating this morning routine, I think of someone that is a go-getter, right? I think of someone that is organized, that is disciplined, that has self-control. Particularly the self-control and discipline is something that I really want to zone in on with my morning routine because I feel as though if I wake up in the morning and you know I'm boom, 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 hitting all these things out that will better my mind, body, and soul throughout the day when I, you know, edit content or hang out with friends, you know, run errands or like work, anything of those nature, the aspect of the structure from the morning will roll into me having structure and organization throughout the day which will then in theory help me to not be so stressed anxious and just feeling defeated throughout the day because I'm just not getting done what I want to get done but yeah so mind body soul those are the three things that I want to focus on throughout my morning routine so I'm going to share with you guys how I'm able to do that this season I'd also like to mention I'm in a season of life where the middle part of my day like you know, morning, afternoon to kind of late in the evening is taken up at the moment. 
So the only time that I do have to be able to pour into my mind, body, and soul is either early in the morning or late at night. So it's just like, girl, well, we have to figure something out with this time because it's not always going to be like this. But right now, this is where we're at. So we're just going to, you know, go with the punches. And so I kind of mentioned it before, but when I do feel overwhelmed throughout the day, it makes me wonder, okay, so like, what did you not focus on in the morning, right? What were you not, did you not exercise? Is that why you feel kind of anxious? Because you feel like you have all this overwhelming energy that you need to expend, but you didn't exercise this morning. Or if I'm feeling very hangry, just irritable and as though my brain is just not in the best mindset. It's like, well, girl, did you eat breakfast? Did you eat breakfast? Did you put anything on your stomach so that your brain can have fuel throughout the day to help you think? Did you do that? And then even also sometimes just like with anxiety and feeling overwhelmed and comparing myself to others, I'm like, well, girl, did you feel your spirit, right? Did you remember what God's word says about you? vision the type of person that I want to be my ideal self she goes to the gym but also she focuses on her hygiene and her skincare so I don't know if you've been following me on Instagram or even like watching my vlogs you've noticed that I've you know been stepping up my skincare and hygiene a little bit I know that it's not the product that makes you know the glow that makes the hair that makes me smell good but I am you know trying out different products to see what will help me to you know, better align with what meets my needs in terms of hygiene. So I have, you know, gotten my skincare routine down. Thank you, Jesus. I do have a video. I'll link it up in the cards. But just having a, a skincare routine, knowing to wash my face morning and night, and, you know, refresh it if I need to. And just also knowing what my skin type is because, you know, I have a routine and, like, I do these things every single day. If my skin is feeling a certain type of way, I'm like, hmm, Something's off, what is it? Let me figure out what the problem is and then I can find a solution. So like if I have a lot of acne like on my face, okay, is it PMS, like is it the time of the month? Have I been eating a lot more sugary foods, fatty foods, have I been eating out more? My hair, is it like in my face more? Like just being able to pinpoint the problem and knowing how to correct it because I have a routine, it's like a game changer. When it comes to focusing on my body within the morning, it's like, girl, you can do all the exercising you want to do. You can do all the skincare, facial routines that you want to do. But if you're not putting the right foods in your body, girl, it doesn't matter what you do because it's not going to align with your goal. So for me, for instance, I want clear skin. You know, I want glowy skin. I don't want any acne flares, anything of that nature. So I try to be very particular about what I eat. So for breakfast in the morning, you know, sometimes I do like a croissant, egg, um, a chicken sausage, fruit, or sometimes I'll do oatmeal and like my green tea or I'll have a little coffee like just having certain things that I'm able to go to quickly for one that we don't have to think too much about oh my gosh like it's time to eat breakfast da, 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 da. especially with me having a busy schedule I need to be able to okay when I get back from the gym shower okay get dressed okay what do we have for breakfast like just having two options and that kind of frees up my mind to not feel overwhelmed with, okay, well, it's a new day, I need to eat healthy, but I don't know what to eat. It's like, girl, no. We don't have time for that. We got one, two, three meals that we eat for breakfast. Whatever's in that cabinet is what we're eating, okay? Even like doing protein shakes, if I have to be on the go, making my like peanut butter, banana, protein shake, that's helped me a lot to be able to like fuel my body and like when I go grocery shopping, getting snacks that I can eat quick on the go. But those are some things that I have incorporated within my morning routine that focus more so on the body aspect of where do I wanna be within the next few years, next few months. What are some areas of my body that I wanna focus on? So next, we're gonna focus on my mind. So what I do in the morning that focuses on my mind, that thrives into it and helps me to create a space of optimism, that creates a space of being energetic, of being happy and joyful throughout the day. So I kind of mentioned this before, but eating breakfast, like, I don't know what it is, but it's just like, girl, if you get some food in you, you all right? Like, literally she's just hangry. That is, that is very much me. That food solves a lot of my problems. But it's not so much about like food, but it's more healthy food, right? So particularly in the morning, focusing on eating foods that fill my brain cells, fuel me with energy, but also are very nutritious to my body is what I wanna focus on in the morning to help fuel my mind so that I can be in a space where I can you know, be organized, where I can plan, where I can do critical thinking without having to like stress. Earlier this year, I would say I was a very anxious person. 
I was very like scatterbrained. I just had so much on my mind and I just felt like there was not enough time in the day because I had no structure. I had no structure and in having no structure, I also was not being fueled by my source, which is the Bible, you know, which is God. Now, someone that professes the faith of Jesus Christ, it is important for me to pour into my spiritual man about, you know, what the Bible says, remember those principles, remember what God calls me to be, and just remembering that he's with me through each and everything that I do. And remembering those Bible scriptures particularly will help me to rebuttal and cancel out any like negative thoughts and negative emotions that I may be having to remember that I am the daughter of the Most High King, okay? I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, but more so that I'm to be courageous, right? So just remembering those scriptures will help to like fuel me throughout the day to help my mind to be in a better place. But with that being said, I have started doing like Bible challenges, kind of get me thinking about, okay, how can I apply this principle to my life, right? So I'm currently reading the book of Proverbs for the month of October. I'm reading one chapter of Proverbs every single day. So with that, it's allowing me to one, dissect the Bible, because that is one of my goals to read the Bible within one year. Two, it's helping me to learn about different Proverbs and principles that relate to a foolish person as opposed to like a righteous and godly person, right? And just being able to develop wisdom in areas of life that will help me very much in the long run. And also just having wisdom coincides with my mind so much because it's like if I can see the problems as they arise, I can be like, okay, how should I respond to this according to the Bible, right? Also because sometimes, you know, my mornings can be a little hectic. I do like to, if I'm not physically like reading the Bible as I'm sitting down at my desk, I do like to play sermons or read, like have the Bible scriptures being read to me as I'm like driving or whatever. So that's something else I've been doing. I try to focus more on like being present in the moment, but you know, sometimes life happens, so. There's that. And along with Bible devotions, I don't really do this as much in the morning. I do it more so at night, but journaling is a great way for me to be able to decompress those feelings that I may be having, of being overwhelmed, of being just anxious, of just feeling as though I'm not good enough. Being able to like write those things out and see on paper, oh, okay, so these are the things that happened today that made you feel that way. How can we change that for tomorrow, right? Or how can I change that in my prayer life to, you know, pray about these things? For example, let's say like every day I journal for like seven days. On like the next week or whatever, if I'm reading through those journal entries and I notice a particular, and I notice a pattern, I can be like, okay, girl, so this is something that you struggled with last week. What can we do this week to keep you from going back to that negative space, right? next section that I want to focus on space and making sure that the space the environment that I'm within lives up to my ideal self right so I see myself being someone that cleans up right after themselves right that's not, not to you know get on your case if you like to you know leave the dishes in the sink overnight that's that's you boo but me on the other hand I want to be the type of person that does things as they happen instead of just like continuing to push it off, continuing to push it off and then it not get done. And then before long, it just creates an environment and a space that's not productive. So even if it's so simple as after I eat breakfast, instead of like rushing to leave out the door, maybe just, you know, stay inside that five minutes to wash the dishes, clean the counter, sweep the floors a little bit, and then heading out. The way when I come back, the space is welcoming. Even with my car, for instance, this is something that I need to work on child because I feel like I literally live in my car. I live in my car. So when it comes to my car, I definitely need to wash it. I need to clean it, um, you know, change the air fresheners, that kind of thing. Sometimes I open my trunk, I see my hair dryer, I see all these hair products, I see all these clothes. I'm like, girl, this does not exemplify a clean and tidy space. Okay, so we need to get this under control so that this does not affect our mind, right? But yeah, so now that we've talked about my mindful habits in regards to my mind, space, and body, I wanna talk about what my morning routine looks like as someone who is an entrepreneur, as someone who's also wedding planning, as someone who just has a lot going on throughout the afternoon, through the evenings. My schedule sometimes is very like sporadic, so I can't just have like a nine to five, oh, I do this, and then, 5 to 11 I do this sometimes you know I have to switch my days but if I can keep my morning routines and that space the same every single day that helps me to feel not overwhelmed throughout the rest of the day when you know things may have to move and I don't like that so I feel like when I tell you guys like what time I wake up in the morning you're probably gonna be like huh 
But you know that saying where the like successful people wake up at like five in the morning, wake up at like three in the morning? I really truly believe it because I wake up at 5 30 in the morning so that I can go to the gym at six. And I know it's like girl, 5 30, but now that I'm on a routine, I'm used to it. I just feel like waking up when nobody else is awake and just being able to check off, okay, my body is right, check off, my mind is right, all before like 8 a.m. It's just like wow. Like I'm in a space to where those endorphins are like positive, positive, positive. I just really truly feel like I can take on the world. So yeah, I do wake up at like 5 30 in the morning. I usually try to be back home around 7 30 ish so that I can shower, clean my room, get dressed, do my skincare routine and eat breakfast. I usually try to eat breakfast around 8.30ish. I don't like working out scientifically. I guess they say you need to have your protein intake within a certain amount of time. So I do try to have like my protein shake and like probably have like oatmeal or fruit or like a croissant, egg, sausage or something in the morning. You know, something quick. So yeah, so I'll eat breakfast like 8.30ish. I try to, not try, changing our words. I do my devotion and my morning prayer for probably like an hour, depending on, you know, what God just places on my heart and how easily it is for me to understand the passage of scripture that I'm reading that day. And then what else do I do? Then I usually try to like, you know, answer emails and stuff. But you know, after that, it doesn't really matter. Like after that, I feel like that goes more into like the afternoon. But yeah, that's basically my morning routine. It probably doesn't sound like a lot, but when I tell you guys it's helping to get in a space a peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. I'm telling you. And I know during this season of my life, I may be waking up at 5 a.m. That doesn't mean, you know, within the next few months or next year, that I will be still waking up at 5 30 in the morning. Maybe by then my schedule will be a little more contained. And maybe I can wake up at 8 a.m., right? And then go to the gym and from like 8 to, you know, 11, do the gym, skincare routine, shower, breakfast. But that's just not the season I'm in right now. So. Yeah, since I'm able to identify what season I'm in, I'm also to identify what mindful habits I want to implement. I'm able to create goals that are realistic to help me get towards my ideal self. But yeah, series, I hope that you enjoyed this leveling up diaries episode about my morning routine. I definitely want to start incorporating this more in like a visual aspect in terms of like vlogs or like just you know short form content or anything of that nature but this is where i am right now so when you do see me you know post those type of things be like oh my gosh like she said that's what she's doing and she's still doing it yes girl i am but i hope this video was able to inspire you I hope this video was able to encourage you and honestly just help you to view things in a different light i know with the fall slash winter season coming up people tend to realign who they are at this moment to where they want to be but yeah definitely being intuitive of mindful habits and you know knowing where you want to be versus where you are and just being able to implement those habits that tend to like your mind body and soul in the morning is it's going to be so amazing because that will transpire throughout the day and you'll just feel so much peace and calmness whenever things are thrown at you because you already set the tone for the beginning of the day. But anywho, I love you guys so very much. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. It lets me know that you enjoyed this video. And yeah, let me know if there's anything that you guys want me to mention next time in my leveling up diaries. I do want to focus, I guess, more on like hygiene next time. Like some little things, nooks and nannies that I've been implementing especially with the cooler season coming up so definitely let me know what you want to see but that's where i'm gearing myself towards for the next episode but until next time bye